I am your Wi-Fi canary. Did you know that birds are special unidirectional breathers? Their elongated respiratory systems mean that they are continuously inhaling, filling their lungs, air sacs, and bones with oxygen. That's why miners used to take canaries underground to know if the air was getting over full of killing carbon monoxide. They trusted songbirds to save their lives because they are more sensitive. The gift of flight means bird taken air and its toxins twice with every breath. There are human canaries too, you know. We feel things sooner than others. We are highly attuned, quick to detect danger. There are thousands of us all around the world. We are finding it harder to sing out, to warn you as the world becomes ever more toxic. Did you know that above ground one toxin has been increasing exponentially this new century? People are addicted to what this toxin enables them to do. It's invisible, odorless, and silent. Unless you have sensitive hearing, then it crackles, hums, and hisses like this. That's the sound of non-native electromagnetic frequencies, the instantly irritating sparking hiss of EMFs. This non-ionizing radiation has increased over one quintillion times in the 10 years after the introduction of the smartphone, a biological experiment inflicted on all living beings. How many zeros is that, you ask? More than a trillion? You bet. It's a billion billion. Eighteen zeros. How smart is that? By now, we might be at one sex or septillion, and 5G will push that past an octillion if people don't snap awake and stop it. Find these numbers too abstract? Let's trill the first 18 zeros aloud. Then you'll feel their stressful crowd. Zero, zero, zero. 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 All those O's are part of my story of pain and dismay. Let me tell you what it feels like to be a human canary these days. But first, let me tell you that our bee and bird relations, the plants and trees, the animals and insects, the amphibians and aquatic beings are all feeling it too. And like humans, some more than others. Oh, 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 oh. At first, the worst part is not knowing why it feels so bad. Why suddenly these terrible migraines, this ringing, zinging noise in my ears, these unusual speeding rhythms of my heart. My skin tingles. It burns. Am I on fire? I feel dizzy and nauseous. And so, 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 tired, tired all the time, dragging myself around. Oh, 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 
oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, trying to carry on despite the pain, but finally unable. I must rest for days or weeks in a special safety nest. The second worst part is figuring out the cause. Yes, it is a relief to finally know what is making me sick. Those invisible, odorless, and mostly silent, low-frequency waves. But it's distressing and sad. Non-native electromagnetic radiation is everywhere. How can I escape? Where can I live? Who will help me? Cell towers in disbelief abound. Desperation drives me to dig deep. Thankfully, research, people, and protection are out there if you look. Once I've found or made a precious green spot, wires are my new friends. I use ethernet cables, landlines, and corded phones to keep in touch. But going out to visit, to shop, to do all the human social things becomes extremely difficult because where there are people, there are cell phones, cafes and restaurants and the public library, and sometimes whole towns all have Wi-Fi now. And the reach of those cell towers everywhere blanket the air and land. Everyone is exposed, and our DNA is changing because of it. Yes, indeed, those EMFs get through the voltage-gated calcium channels of our cells, causing oxidative stress. Do you know anyone with sleep problems, chronic fatigue, anxiety, cancer? Autism and Alzheimer's are on the rise, and fertility is on the decline. There are many possible causes for these, and one of those culprits can be EMFs. Once you are overexposed and you become electrosensitive, your life is changed forever. And a reversal is hard to orchestrate in a world with 18 to 27 zeros worth of EMF exposure nearly everywhere. What didn't used to bother you bothers you. Even the smallest amounts of EMFs cause me physical pain. Driving past one single cell tower creates such intense pressure in my head, such stabbing pains that it feels like my skull is cracking into many pieces, and I feel disorientingly dizzy, catastrophically nauseous. The torture is so intense. I wonder if I will die. Zero, zero, zero. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. of us in the world. We are singing as loud as we can to warn you that all this so-called smart technology is putting the unborn and all children at risk. This invisible, human-created EMF scourge is rapidly ruining the world, and you, yes, you too, are at risk. No one is immune. The exposures accumulate in our bodies and at some point, peak. And if you have the energy then, you too will be wanting to speak and warn your human family. We need a system change. Yes, even before COVID-19 appeared, we needed a system change. And now it's amply clear. 
We need a system change where truth, not profits, reign. And Health Canada really cares about our health and creates safety codes that are actually safe for us and all our relations. Help me and help yourself and help generations as yet unborn. Let's work together for system change while we can. Go read and learn all about it. There are resources and studies galore every day, more and more. Dig back to and see military reports 50 or more years ago, citing all the ills kept secret to line industry pockets. And don't forget plain common sense. Electrifying our environment over 18-fold can't possibly be good for any electronic being, which creatures of Earth all are. We canaries are calling out to you to do your share and join our caring chorus. Sing, sweet pulsing hearts and souls. Sing with us for the love of the world and our Mother Earth. Corded phones are smartest. Ask for landlines and ethernet to help canaries fly and sing. Tweet, 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 tweet. See us flap, flap, flap in our wings, flying and flocking true. Singing bye, bye, electro smog. Hello, plugs and cables. We are adaptable as are our devices. We're going to pull back change course and plug ourselves back in, not just to a socket, not just to a router, but back into our bodies, look into our faces, look into our eyes, spend less time on screens, plug back into people, plug back into nature and the sacredness of life. Bye bye, Wi Fi. Hello, biosphere. We, we are resonant, resonant creatures synced with Mother Earth. Our frequency, grounding, 7.83 hertz. Healing, home of hearts, portals of our powers. Did you know we can do this? Come on, make the difference. The time to act is now. Sing out with courage. For life, love, truth, and respect. Stand up with humility so balance, honesty, and wisdom can be ours.